first. In life, there are going to be ups and downs, and many times what matters most isn't the challenges, but rather how we choose to face them. That piece of advice is something a mother from Wells is carrying with her as she tackles the most difficult chapter of her life this far. Emily is awe-inspiring. For the people who love her most. Energy! Emily is sunshine. Emily Mackey is a little bit of everything all wrapped into one. Emily is family. It's her strong sense of positivity and zest for life that stick out the most. <laughs> Traits she's leaning on now more than ever after a freak accident at the gym back in September left her paralyzed from the waist down. My left butt cheek, I can feel. I can feel this guy right here. Um, but yeah, from here down, uh, I don't have any, I, I can't feel anything and I don't have any mobility. Emily was performing what is known as a clean and press when she lost control of the weight. To talk about the accident itself is, is, is still really, it's, it's still very traumatic for me. Um, what I was doing was something that I literally had done 600 times before. It's a very common Olympic lift that entails lifting a weight from the floor and then pressing it overhead. I woke up every morning and woke up and, and worked out with my friends every single day. So I was doing something that I love to do, um, that I did routinely, and um, I, I just, um, it, it, the world changed that day. So I do remember the ambulance ride with my boss. It was probably one of the hardest things I've ever been through. I remember going over some uh, train tracks and, and uh, being in agony. <laughs> Since the accident, Emily has been here. Maybe I should pop a wheelie. Maybe now. <laughs> at Spalding Rehabilitation Center in Charlestown, Massachusetts. So it's been um, kind of like a, um, a roller coaster of emotions. You know, some days I definitely grieve my legs and um, my lifestyle that I had, very carefree lifestyle that I had prior to the accident. Um, but then other days I'm like, I got this. You know what I mean? Like, I definitely have got this. Like, um, it's a challenge. Everything's going to look totally different, but 100%. I've got this. Here, she is focusing on her recovery. Okay. Ready? Which includes everything from learning how to navigate new everyday tasks, like getting in and out of her wheelchair. One, two, three. To using equipment like this to help with possible mobility down the road. Emily's on what's called the local mat, and it's a robotic exoskeleton that will walk her over a treadmill. So the joints of the robot are doing all the work for her right now. Um, as things progress or if things change and Emily's able to help out, we can change how much the robot's helping her. And it's just kind of like step one for neuro recovery after a spinal cord injury. Okay. Research kind of shows of like doing like a walking motion can end like with the pressure. So she's got like 64% of her body weight is like onto this treadmill. Um, so that should be kind of sparking things in her body to potentially to help her nerves and her spinal cord and her brain kind of all work together to wake up a little bit and see if we can get any neuro recovery out of that. It's foreign when I look down and I feel my feet um, going. It, it feels really bizarre because I can't feel them. I can just see them. So that's a little bit wild. Um, it's also difficult to stay upright, like if you notice I, I let go, and then I, I really have to engage everything because it's your core, you know what I mean? So I, I, I really do try to stay here. <laughs> Emily is keeping everyone back home in Maine posted through her Instagram account. One more rep for M. Her gym community, especially, has been cheering her on from afar from the very beginning. Andre and Katie Mercier own the gym where Emily's accident happened. And everyone was just heartbroken. Like we had to just kind of pull people aside and tell them one on one because we knew everyone would just be really shaken up by it. Um, so a lot of sadness at first because it sucks yeah. straight up. Um, but then as they do, they rally and they say, what can we do? Like that's one of the coolest parts about our gym is all these helpers. Helpers that have created a GoFundMe page, bumper stickers, even a workout called the Mackie. Anything and everything they can do to help raise awareness and most importantly, money for Emily and her son, Eben. She's gonna be in a wheelchair all the time. So um, everything is gonna have to be accessible for that. Um, something 
you know, it's really important for her to be able to be as independent as possible. So you're talking about being able to reach the kitchen cupboards, you're being able to go through the doorways, you're being able to use the bathroom, you know, and shower and stuff by yourself. We are, you know, starting to dig into a car for her and what it takes for her to have an adaptive car so she can still be mobile and, and uh, you know, hopefully find a job that she can be, you know, doing and taking Eben around just like she normally would. That new normal is something Emily is looking forward to. So this is my gym. You know what I mean? Like just silly things like putting my shoes on, putting my pants on. It's a workout, um, but I get to be good at it and I get to try my best to to do everything to the best of my ability and this this is my gym. <laughs> Yeah, it's it's um, it seems pretty minuscule. It seems pretty silly, but um, this is my life, and I'm gonna make the best of it. It's just gonna look different. How do you keep this attitude? Uh, you have to. You get to choose. You have to. You really do. You get to choose. You know what I mean? Like every face that you see throughout the course of the day, every interaction you have, you get to choose how you treat that person, how you leave that person, um, and it, it's a choice. Um, and don't get me wrong, there are days that are like, um, I'm gonna break down, you know what I mean? I'm gonna have a little cry sesh, um, or, or a big cry sesh, yeah. um, because life is hard. Um, but when you come out of it, it's all in perspective. You know what I mean? I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. I get to choose. I, I get to choose to put a smile on my face. And nine times out of 10, when you put a smile on your face, you feel better. So the day after, day after we visited Emily, she sent us this video. This is her left leg. You can see the muscle pulsing. That isn't a muscle spasm. That is her doing the work, which is great news and shows all the work she's doing in rehab to regain her strength and some feeling in her legs is paying off. But as you can imagine, this is just the beginning of her journey. Absolutely. She gets released tomorrow from Spalding Rehabilitation Center. Very excited to get home. Her gym family was able to find her temporary housing at least through the, through the winter, but the end goal is to find her a home of her own. So if you're watching this, you wanna help uh, her cause, donate to her. We have posted a link to the GoFundMe page on our website and our mobile app. Really good story.